Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So I got this idea of using yoga blocks in the feet straps recently from um, a workshop that I attended with Matt McCullough. Uh, this was what he was doing for a sprained ankle protocol. But I started playing with this and I really like it um, in terms of helping your clients really find all four corners of their feet when they have their feet in the straps. And so sprained ankle or not, I think this is a great place to teach more proprioception of how the feet and um, ankles connect all the way up into the pelvis. And so if you place yoga blocks in the straps and then you cue your client to keep the big toe, pinky toe, inner outer heel all reaching into the block. And then you can do plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Now, mind you, it's a little bit um, precarious, especially you wanna make sure that you set them up so that the blocks are even in the straps and that uh, the strap is on the center of the block itself. But they're gonna have to really work differently to maintain those um, anchors into the block as they just work this little bit of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. And uh, it immediately brings them into awareness. So you can start there. And then just a lot of your normal foot, feet and straps work. Um, leg arcs up and down, keeping their long neutral pelvis. You can take it into a deep squat, which I really like here. Um, the other thing I really appreciate about having the feet in the blocks is that I also start to become much more aware of my lumbar multifidus. And so the back body um, and its connection to the feet uh, is also a really nice thing to play with as well here. So you can do a few deep squats. Um, external rotation into internal rotation, and then any variation um, within that of circling the legs. And so here again, as I start to move the legs out of the um, sagittal plane, I'm having to really work to keep my feet anchored, but it's also um, not as challenging as trying to cue a client to fix their feet just in the straps alone. So it really gives them a floor to stand on, right? And um, lots of great feedback as they're working their feet and straps. So just another way to bring them in to deeper awareness. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.